Hi all, welcome to what is a rare Team of the Week prediction for me, obviously normal FIFA's we normally churn these out and, but this FIFA has been a bit of a mishap for me but apologies for that but we've got on the ball again, getting full through content and we've got ourselves Team of the Week prediction I thought I'd leave it to today just simply because of, I just wanted to kind of be certain with a few players um, for people depending on how obviously their packs go and all that and take it from there so not the best team of the week, but not the worst as well. But we'll see how it obviously progresses as um, time goes, I suppose. Because tonight's game may change it a little bit, but not majorly. So Anthony Lopez looks like maybe the main goalie. He got four saves, didn't keep a clean sheet sadly, but he did get an eight on the keep, um, which helps his cause. So um, Leon obviously fighting for European positions. Um, from there, Nacho Fernandez. One of two Oligan defenders I suspect will feature. Um, got himself a goal on a clean sheet against Cadiz. Real Madrid were dominant against Cadiz. They had about 30 shots from goal. Nacho was the man who helped kind of help play a part in the breakthrough. Um, but what may go against him slightly is his storyline card, but I highly doubt it. Like Real Madrid is going to get an inform anyway, I feel, from the game. It's just a case of who gets the nod. And like, even then, Nacho could easily be made featured team of the week and suddenly usurp that storyline card. EA could easily do it quite easily if they wished. Um, El Yamik got a goal. Didn't keep a clean sheet, sadly, valid lead. But he was very, very impressive. He was given a free by Marca. Um, they raved about him and what I've seen in the highlights. He was very impressive. He could easily be a featured team of the week card um, simply because of that pace. He needs a defending boost for a centre back, but um, would not put it past him at all. Stones, um, Man City is going to get an inform. Haaland, a lot of people may predict. Um, but with team of the season and possible record breaker for Haaland, um, like, what we mean by record breaker is he needs to score like, one more goal to um, beat the record for like, most goals in a season, basically. Um, for like, but for me, Stone I feel just gets the nod for a goal. But one of them, um, like, what helps is because he got a nine as well with Sky. But somebody's going to get in from the Man City game. It's a question is if do they decide to go with Haaland or will they go with um, Stones? Um, and Ake Williams, two goals for him. Very impressive performance. Um, he could easily be the featured team of the week simply because of how inconsistent picking the featured team of the week is and because they've got like three cards now could go any one of which ways but yeah, I think an Aki for his two goals he will get position change as well at right mid I just had him left mid just for um this graph uh, for the squad. Kevin Campbell goal and assist he was also kicker's team of the week so uh, player of the week sorry um and what I mean by that also he makes it team of the week Bundesliga was a little bit trickier this week, I feel to predict, just because of how certain results went, like Bayern was a draw, Dortmund was a draw, um, so you're kind of toiling a little bit, and like Leipzig's probably the only Bundesliga game that you actually feel remotely confident about, which kind of says something, but yeah, it's... see what happens with that one. Anthony, he gets himself in with a goal and assist, and helps his one to watch card get another boost. Um, be interesting to see if they suddenly decide to juice him up because of the one at watch. Do they say, you know what, let's make him like a feature team of the week. Let's boost that one at watch so it's really, really good. Um, but yeah, it's also worth noting as well that like the, like the one at watch um, would get like a decent boost anyway. So, you know, he are like a cardy, obviously has an inform already and has a rule breaker, which is like an 87 going in for him anyways, it's annoying that he goes to 85 so it's kind of like in the middle of the two cards but he got a hat trick and yeah it's pretty academic really Vela, pretty academic option for this team of the week, I've seen some predictors not actually include Vela it's like as if they just completely ignored that he got two goals and one assist, it's like he did ha he did play guys, he scored well he played well, it was early derby like what more do you need to do to kind of feature in the team of the week but yeah, some people have not even remotely batted an eyelid at Carlos Vela. I kind of don't understand why, but yeah, I don't understand people for that one. Ollie Watkins should get in the team of the week for his performance. It's just a case of um, 
basically, it's, I love how I just say up to EA with, with it, but um, basically, very solid performance with two goals, one assist. I think what I mean by that is, well, even though we've got a 9 way sky, it's more a case of what rating does he go to. Because an 83 version of him is just not usable. He always seems to get like a special card in FIFA, and like this could be, as we say, if he's the featured team of the week, it's like, it's like all these. It feels like laziness, really. Like, like oh, let's just suddenly boost them from seventy-eight to like eighty or something. It's like wow. It's like not going to be the most usable, but um, at this stage of the game, but still a fun card nonetheless. Griezmann, play the month owners. Be wary if you have them because this card could happen. You got two goals against Almera. I'd like to go, um, run the show. Um, Griezmann, I think, would worry people if he does happen again. Like, it was about, it's been about six, seven weeks since he's last in form anyway. Like, yes, the player month is still live, but I still feel this would happen nonetheless. Subs in reserve, the Gregorio, um, Monza, big result. If Caldrola was a gold, I'd probably edge towards him. But Di Gregorio um, has an inform which helps his cause, which has already been boosted to up to an 83, so it makes this a little bit easier. He goes up to most likely an 86, well, should it anyway, um, no EA. But um, 6 saves, clean sheet, and 7.5 on Gazeta. Monza being Inter, Inter just can't seem to win domestically just now, they seem to be alright in Europe. Um, Gano um, joins the quick hat trick club that's evident in the forward line this week so this is going to be no hanging about on a number of cases but we'll get through it nonetheless um, easy two goals club along with Doku these guys um, pretty much academic in my opinion for a spot in the team of the week so yeah it's not too bad when you're delivering the goods and you feature in the team of the week like Doku could make um, like, some people have pre predicted him as the feature team of the week. He needs a lot of boost to kind of be usable, so I could kind of see why. It's easy was because obviously it alloys, but would you really do the same club two weeks run for feature team of the week? Can't see it. Gus Till, um, pretty academic performance as PSV um, were made to work in the end against Volendam. They were comfortable and then they let them back in. Volendam um, worked hard, but Till got two goals, one assist, and should just comfortably make team of the week. So I think one goal, two assists, three goal contributions against Tottenham. They won at the death, um, Bournemouth, so that's what helps their case. And yeah, I would say he should make team of the week pretty comfortably. Can't well, some predictors have him, some do not. One goal, two assists, and a 5 2 victory. I feel it happens. It's a case of I know some people will have the odd omission in the um, feature team week, but at times you don't know who they're going to do, and I feel Cantwell gets in nonetheless. Then pretty much every member of the reserves this week is part of the hat trick club: Pellegrino, Wansick, Back Marriott, Connor Chaplin, and Ben Hardson, all members of the hat trick club. If you've not been on Twitter yet or YouTube or whatever, go and check Pellegrino's goal. One of his goals is absolutely classic. I'm surprised he's always a, he's a silver still. Like, he seems to be really good for the Norwegian League. He produces a lot, unless he's just m maybe not consistent enough in FIFA context to be a gold. But um, if you're a Bros Pack fan, Ben Hardson is your man. But yeah, all five of these, I will admit though, between Marriott and Chaplin, because they're both EFL 1 may get the omission, if that was to be the case, it would probably go to Marriott being the omission, and I'll tell you why, because he's a striker, his position for the game is a striker, Connor Chaplin was calm, that's the only reason why they may do it, and then they may fall to somebody else, Um too many, there's like way too many odd options, they may just take a gold, that's when Cantwell for example would take that spot, um, because it's worth noting there's a lot of silvers um, in the team of the week this week, if you break it down, because you've got De Gregorio's a silver, base silver, Gano's a base silver, Cantwell's a base silver, you've got seven silvers right off the bat, so 
it is quite easily that they could take out um, a couple of these to juice it up with gold to make up the difference or some of these um, like Cantwell for example could be like the feature team of the week just to make them um, really stand out but we'll see what happens as you'd let me know who you think will make team of the week 25 have a good one folks take it easy all thanks for watching and i will catch you all later